the video. So basically today's video is going to be the two most important tips of AR. This isn't a clickbait video as some people love to accuse me of but hopefully you'll see the tips I'll give you. So I need to stop waffling and let's get on to the tips. Now a massive or important tip as I'm going to write for you is to use the simple, one second, simple, oh no animation is not working, simple box method. So by this, I basically mean that you look at the simplest box within set A and you look at the simplest box within set B and you try to see by using the simplest box in set A, compare it with the second simplest box within set A. Doing this, you'll be able to remove any red herrings that the UCAT officers or people who make the questions put in to purposely sort of distort the way you're thinking and to essentially make you spend longer on the question. But the simplest box method is something that you begin with straight away. Now there is no substitute to actually using this method. So the simplest box method, you compare simple and an s is going to be sort of like the abbreviation for it sort of looks like a five but s is going to be use the simplest box method for sets one sorry my handwriting is awful um, and compare compare with the simplest or the second simplest second simplest of box two of set a sorry set a and when you're able to do this, you will reduce any possibility of sort of being thrown away. Now, yes, you still can be tricked by the question into assuming a shape that has no relevance to the actual rule has relevance. Now, the second killer tip that I would say, now if you're wondering what sort of pen am I using, I know this is so unprofessional, but so it's basically, I watched this YouTube video and um, aluminium foil with a cotton bud with inside the video that I'd have to dip into water, which a cup with water, dip it in, sort of dry it and start using it on the iPad. It works for your static electricity, it's pretty cool, but I don't know if you wanted to know that. So let's get straight back into the course. Now, one thing that I would seriously advise every applicant of the UCAT to do and this is probably one of the most precious tips like if I could sell this for 500 pound or 9k pay off my uni fee but um, so what it is is the time in between the quantitative reasoning section and the abstract reasoning section is the time that you write down your acronym now I've explained scans in the last video which essentially would be scans in this case so I'd write down scans as fast as I could now underneath scan or the S I would write down all the cases, all the rules that I usually forget. Now you would know this after practicing after a long time. You would know this. And for A, and for N, and for S. You'd write this as fast as you can, bearing in mind that you only have a minute in between each section. Do not just sit there like an egg, waiting, I don't know, for an angel to come down and help you in the exam, because it's probably not gonna happen. So you write down all the cases, I'm just gonna start scribbling here, scribble here, scribble here, scribble here, scribble here. You would write them all down. Some of the rules that you usually forget to help you, so you'd be able to lift up what you need to lift up and compare it with the screen. So if the screen was here, I'd be able to look, see, is it not, 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 and be able to tick it off when I need to do so. Now this, is crucial because inside the abstract reasoning section people usually feel the most stressed because you either get it at that moment or you don't this is not a contradiction to what I explained before if you fail to practice you will not probably get it if you have practice you probably know the rule just haven't spotted it hence it's important to use the first tip that I've given you um, let me annotate that in a different color to use tip number one and then to use tip number two tip number two proceeds tip number one but also comes after it by this i mean that you do tip number two prior to starting the abstract reasoning section but you use it after using the simple box method to see which rule potentially you have forgotten now explaining it so openly without charging does mean that my brother will find it difficult to apply for medicine but a greater challenge for him i'm happy so after that's been explained i hope this really helped you and Essentially, these are the two dangerous tips that I keep to myself and usually just tell local people, but I hope this has really helped you. And if it has, and you plan on sharing this with your people, share it and, you know, 
spread the word. If you have very minimal time, I have an ebook that is present in the link description. And that's my killer, killer, killer tips. Essentially, I explained them in the video, but there are some tips in there that I haven't really explained. Basically, catch you guys on the other side. Why is it hard for me? Why is it hard for me?